Hi, this is Manny. I'm coming to you from the beautiful city of Rebecha. This morning, I'm to share a scripture with you. And it's taken out of Romans chapter 12, verse 4 to 5. And I'm still speaking on identity. This one is a bit of a warm one. This one is a bit of an a, a introspective one. But I want to share this with you nevertheless. The Bible says in verse 4, Just as our bodies have many parts, each part has a special function. So it is with Christ's body. We are many parts of one body and we all belong to each other. Let me read that last part again. We are many parts of one body and we all belong to each other. I said it's a bit of a warm one because I'm speaking, still speaking about identity this morning. There's a saying in, in, um, in, in, in our indigenous languages. Um, I come from KZN, so I know Zulu, I'm not too sure about Pedi and Sutu if they have it, but in, in Zulu they have a, 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 a phrase that speaks about Ubuntu. And Ubuntu basically means, it's about, it speaks deep into the, the concept of community and connectivity, uh, connectedness, being connected within a community. And if ever there was a community, this is what the scripture is speaking about. If ever there was a community, it's this body. I have fingers, I have hands, I have elbows, I have, I have an ulna, apparently the, that's an ulna, um, I have shoulders, I have all these different parts of my body. But the reality is this hand can't decide it's going to stay at church and this hand is going to go home to my beautiful wife and kids or, and, the, and this leg is going to go to the mall and the other leg is going to go, go play golf. My body can't decide to do whatever. Each part of my body needs to support the, the rest of my body. And this is what the scripture says. We are many parts of one body and we all belong to each other. When last has it felt solidly that the people within your community, the people that you're connected with, whether it's your church, your street, your family, that we are all parts of one body and we all, scripture says, we all belong to each other. What does it mean? It, what does it mean? The thing with Ubuntu is that you find yourself within the community. You find yourself within your, your, the people that you associate with because you cover each other. And this is what the scripture is calling us to understand, that your identity, sometimes we are short on a few, um, uh, a few cents to understand our, our, uh, um, uh, our identity. And sometimes it's just because we have chosen not to connect properly with people around us. I want to encourage you today that find your identity and help those to find their identities around you because uh, identity crisis has become more and more of an issue. And I'm not talking specifically about gender and what, I'm talking about there are people who are, are absolutely rich but cannot survive through life because uh, they, they haven't built that part of the identity that gives them a separation from their riches. There are people who are poor and because of poverty, they can't survive through life and they can't connect with people because they are so connected to their poverty that everything has to be a beg and an ask and, a, but, and they don't want to step up. So there's so many different spaces of identity crisis and I, my, the scripture is actually encouraging us to connect with those around of us. Because when we connect with those around us, we find our identity and we help them to find their identity. Father, in the name of Jesus, you've said that you've placed us, the, the lowly, you've placed the, the lonely ones, oh God, into families, oh God. I pray that people that are listening now become so much more aware of who is around us, who is around us. Sometimes they will discover that some friends are enemies and sometimes they will discover that some enemies that they regarded as enemies are actually friends, oh God. So let them get connected to the communities around them, in their families, in their streets, oh God, in their churches and, and at, at work as well, oh God. I pray this so that they understand and they can grow and know who they are in Jesus' mighty name, amen.